I'm just a fucked up girl who's looking for my own peace of mind. Hello, my dudes. Welcome back. Hope we're doing well. Clearly, I'm not. I wasn't even gonna make a video today, but I just, you know, was in the mood, felt it in my bones. When inspiration strikes, and it's rare that it does these days, so I, I had to, I had to do it. Cause God knows every other day I'm just gonna be crying into a pillow or something. Okay, enough of that. So I wasn't gonna make this video until I read every single Archie horror comic. I was really excited to just like get into it dive in, read everything, and then do a whole nice, lovely, complete video about all of them, about everything. But instead I had to go and fuck that up because I just really want to talk about it. I'm not done. I haven't read them all, but I just really want to talk about it. Um, I also have this box, this Loot Fright. It's like basically Loot Crate's horror box. So after I talk a little bit about the Archie comics, I'm gonna open up this box, see what's inside. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> okay, let me back up and just rewind. This is what happens when I just turn on my camera without a plan. Okay, what was I talking about? Archie horror. Okay, so if you know me at all, you know that I am a big fan of the CW TV show, Riverdale. You also know that I love to trash talk this show because while I do love it oh so dearly, I also think it's hot garbage. <laughs> and it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. Season one is fucking fire, all right? Even season two, it, you know, it gets a little rocky, but like season two is pretty good. It has a pretty good plot. It's got like a slasher thing going on. It's like, it's awesome. And so I will admit, I, I never really was into Archie comics. Like as a kid, I never really read them. Like when Riverdale came out, I knew the Archie comics existed in the world. And I was like, that's weird. Why would they make this weird horror-ish show about this like nice, pleasant, wholesome comic? And then I discovered the world, the beautiful, magical world of Archie horror. So Archie horror, if you don't know, is like, a series of comic books all about the Archie comic world, but it's it's elevated into this much more adult, terrifying horror genre. <laughs> Obviously, as you could probably figure out by the title. And it was always so interesting to me and I was always drawn to it, but I never picked it up. And then the other day I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna read Archie Horror. That's right. Now, as of right now, at the time of making this video, I have only read The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and Vampironica. All, all of it, all, all the Vampironica, 100% yes. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina is a comic and it's basically the story of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, but it's put in a much, much darker setting. The show is obviously based on it, although it is way more dark than the show. So I don't really need to get into like the weeds of the plot of Sabrina. You kind of know it already. Sabrina is the teenage witch. She's living with her two witch aunts and her cat familiar. On her 16th birthday, she has to choose if she wants to be a full witch or return to her like mortal form forever. There's also like this mad woman who had a fling with her estranged father and she's like back from hell to like wreak havoc on everyone. And it's just a blast, just a spooky blast. But I thought The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina was a really good read. Like, I highly recommend it if you're a horror fan, if you're a comic fan, if you're a Sabrina fan. Because these comics are basically like if you took those shows and you put them on like HBO, where they were extremely gory and R-rated, <laughs> and we're here for it. But the one I want to talk about more than Sabrina is Vampironica. <laughs> Okay, so I saw Vampironica years ago. I was like in a comic book shop, just browsing, and I saw it and I was like, what? You, you know, cause I was, I was intrigued, but I was also like, that is the dumbest sounding shit I've ever seen. <laughs> cause her name is Veronica, but she's a vampire, so now she's Vampironica. It's so bad. It's a. It's like on the level of bad that Riverdale just generally as a show is, but also as enticing as the show is. 
You know what I'm saying? They're like on the same level of like, it's like almost cringy, but I'm also really invested. So the best way I can explain Vampironica is it feels, okay, let me back. If you know me at all, even the tiniest bit, you should know, because I talk about it obsessively, how much I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's my thing, it's my shit, it's my personality. <laughs> there has been this hole, this void, where Buffy the Vampire Slayer once was, and I just, I need new content. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it, but I just, I want more, and there's just been this void ever since the show ended, where I just, it needed to be filled. And Vampironica filled that void. I don't even know how to explain it to you, but it's like, it captures like the vibe. Vampironica is big Buffy energy. Okay, <laughs> aside from the fact that she herself, like the heroine, the protagonist, Veronica, is a vampire, she's still like this valley girl-esque high school cheerleader, preppy rich girl attitude, kicking ass, and like every time she does kick ass, she has some like horrible but great one-liner, like some witty quip or some, you know, like a, Ver a Veronica line. She says the weirdest shit. Have you watched Riverdale? I beg your misogynistic pardon? She just has these great one-liners and they're, they're like kind of cheesy, but you love it, you know? That's that's what reading this comic felt like. <sighs> I don't know, it just, it just felt so Buffy and I loved it. It's like these teenage kids dealing with these supernatural things all around them in this weird little town, trying to fight evil, people getting possessed. I just, I literally felt like I was reading a new episode of Buffy and it really made me like so happy. It just made me so happy. And even if you're not into Buffy and you're like, you're this new, you need to shut up about Buffy, like you're sounding crazy. <laughs> I know. But even if you're not, like, if you're like, I don't know what that is, I've never watched it, sorry. To give a more broad explanation, it feels very timeless, like if John Hughes wrote a supernatural teen movie. You know what I'm saying? Like it has that very classic, playful, high school drama sort of vibe. But then there's the supernatural element added on top, which just adds so much room to play. Plus you also have this high school girl who just turned into a vampire and is dealing with that. Doesn't know how to tell her friends, doesn't know how to deal with it. Like everything is different now and you're just following her on this weird wacky journey and it's just really fun. Not to mention, the art is phenomenal, like the gore and the like coloring. Oh, oh, it's just so good. It has like kind of an 80s vibe a little bit, like with the colors. But I also want to read more comics because there are more Vampironica comics with Jughead. And I did start reading Jughead The Hunger. I haven't read a ton. I only read a couple of issues. But it's also giving me Buffy vibes, but like more like Oz vibes, you know what I'm saying? And now it's like we're getting his perspective on like what it's like to be a teenager who just turned into a werewolf and is killing people and can't control it. And it's so dramatic and it's so horrific and it's so gory and bloody and fantastic. I love Archie horror. <sighs> okay. This has been a video of me literally just gushing about some weird ass comics that I read. Not sure if anybody cares. Not sure if anybody's gonna watch this. I don't know. Literally, like I said, I just turned on the camera and was like, I wanna talk about some shit. I also have this nifty box here that I can open. So maybe that'll be interesting. Okay. Let's just dive right in. So this is a Loot Fright box monthly subscription thing. Oh boy, okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, let's just start at the top. This looks like a t-shirt. It's a Halloween t-shirt. You know, I've been thinking like, it kind of feels like time isn't real anymore. Like time just doesn't matter. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what month it is. Is it summer? I don't know, can't go outside. So I've decided, I made the executive decision that it is October until further notice. Everybody good with that? Okay. Oh, it's so soft. Oh yeah, baby, Halloween two. Look at this shirt. Some backstory. I used to have a Loot Crate subscription for like a pretty long time. And I would always get like stuff that I liked, but mostly stuff that I was like, I would never wear that. But I have a strong suspicion that I'm gonna be wearing 
everything that I get out of this box. <laughs> because horror is just all about the blades and the blood and the skulls and the Halloween and I am just here for it. <gasps> Baba Yaga, what are you? What? What? It's like a little charm thing. It's really pretty. I'll have to show a close up so you can see it. Oh my God. I just realized what this is. You can't see me. It's a bookmark. It's a fucking bookmark. I'm an idiot. I'm not really sure what like the intent of this is. Like, what are you supposed to do with it? I guess you could just like, I could hang it in my car for when I don't go anywhere. It's really pretty and kind of creepy, which I love. What's next? This looks like a tote bag. Love a good tote bag. <gasps> HP Lovecraft. Yeah, that's right, we got a HP Lovecraft tote bag. Oh yeah! Oh my god, this is the greatest subscription box I've ever received. Mad balls. Leather face. <laughs> like it's a little, it's a little leather face ball. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? I don't know. Love it. Caress it. And he's squishy. Oh, and he's got like some, some icky green goo coming out the back of his head. That's cute. Well, now I have to collect them all, so. This is me now. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a little plushy. Oh God, oh God, wait, I gotta open this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh no. Ah! This is a journal and it says the Overlook Hotel, which is the name of the hotel from The Shining, one of my favorite movies of all fucking time. You know how many like unboxing videos I've done where I had to like pretend to be excited because <laughs> that's what you do when you're a YouTuber. But I'm actually really fucking excited about this. Oh, it's the, it has the carpet. It has the Overlook carpet in the book. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Oh no. All the pages have like really, you probably can't see it, but they have like really faint typewriter words and I swear to God, if it says what I think it says, oh, yep, there it is. All work and no play make Jack a doll boy. This is the greatest, the greatest. I just, <sighs> okay, what's next? Evil Dead 2, okay. I just, it's a, oh, it's an adult collectible, not a toy, it says. I know, I'm an adult. Oh, look at little Ash, he's so cute and sad. <laughs> Oh, there's like, oh, oh, it's like a little diorama. Why wow, I have to like assemble this? Okay, hang on a sec. <laughs> I did it. There's a little ash with his little chainsaw and his blood everywhere. And then there's a little Henrietta coming out the ground, grabbing his feet and it's, and it's just everything. Just a bite phone stand. Oh my God, this is vampire related. I'm gonna lose my shit. What? Uh, okay, so you put your phone in it? Oh! Oh! Like this! And then you can just sit it, sit it on the table and like watch a little movie or something. Oh, you know, this would be good for taking pictures, like a little tripod. Okay, there is one more thing. It is a pin mordio. I don't know what that is. But it's okay, because it still looks cool as fuck. It's terrifying. All right. Wow, what a successful Loot Fright Box unboxing. Well, that's it for this weird, wild, wacky video. Thank you, Loot Crate, for sponsoring this video and sending me this amazing Loot Fright Box. I'm so excited about it. It's so much fun. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun. And let me know if you have read any Archie horror comics. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite. What did you like? What didn't you like? Or tell me like a really good horror comic. I haven't read a ton. I think my favorite is probably Witches. It's just like, ugh, ugh, Witches is just so good. But I'm getting really into the Archie horror and I'm probably gonna make another video after I finish reading them. If you want, let me know. But that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee.